Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, and I love these lessons. With Game Golf, I've given two lucky winners um, who won prize on Twitter, put forward by Game Golf, to come to Vegas, meet me, and have a lesson where I dialed into their Game Golf stats to try and help them move their stats. Um, you're going to now see the live lesson that I did with the, with the winners over in Vegas. There's also going to be follow-ups to this video um, showing you if we did actually move the stats or not, which obviously Game Golf will deliver those numbers. What I love about these is it's a great way for me to show you guys how coaches and students alike should be using products like this to help you lower your scores and work on the right aspects of your game. Let's get stuck in. Right, so we've come inside to just look at Steve's game golf stats. We're looking on his mobile here of the data he's captured. Do you know how many rounds you've got stored? Uh, probably somewhere around 25 to 30. Okay, so he's got a good amount of data capture there, which is great. Um, his driving is showing only 49% of fairways hit. Now, Steve did mention that his driving is something that lets you down. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that you feel like you miss on the right more than your left. You're cutting yes. the ball away. Uh, the data is kind of showing that to a certain extent. 28% miss on the right and 22% miss on the left. Um, often people who feel like they're cutting can hit a quick pull as well, mm -hmm. which is where I think the 22% comes from. So I'm imagining we're going to see path issues, face path issues. Yep. Uh, you also mentioned, I mean, Steve is a soldier, so he's fit and he's strong, um, and he's only averaging 237 total distance. That's got a bit of roll on it. I think we can push that a little bit more. Yeah. Often people who are losing the ball to the right, there's power leaks in there. So mm -hmm. face the path issues and path issues. So I definitely think the, 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 the stats from the game golf device is showing us quite clearly everything that you're hinting at. Yep. Um, now going outside there and working on some swing ideas, I'm really looking forward to seeing if we can challenge these stats and you and get them moving around a little bit. Now the other thing which we'll look at also is you mentioned your approach play could be better. Yeah. Uh, and if I just change the stats here to have a little look to 100 to 125 yards, you're only hitting or getting it within 15 yards 48% of the time. A lower handicapper um, would certainly be getting that high. I think mine is in around the 80s because mm -hmm. it's a real scoring kind of area. So maybe we might build some ideas around that as well. Absolutely. The, the real thing I want to uh, kind of get into today as well, though, for me is the driving. Get you confident with your driving, get you a little bit further down there. Um, I think even a chance of hitting more of these shots, if you imagine if you start hitting your driver further, and we show the stats move that you hit it further, you'll have more of these, you might get better if you're hitting these more often. Yeah. Where I'd imagine the 100 to 125 range is often after you've chipped out and then you're panicking because you're struggling to hold on to your score. Yes. Um, so flipping your mentality around what this shot means sometimes is as good as it. Mm -hmm. Let's get out there and do it. Turned a little left. Do you know why that one went a bit further left? Yeah. Or why? Uh, one, because the strike location was way more out of yeah, the toe. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. Strike was everything. Yep. High toe. High toe. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. So I, I'm seeing your good drivers, a low fade. Yeah. And then your bad one could be a misstruck or turning away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you look at this, so with Steve's game golf, we're seeing um, 230 length drives. Uh, your clubhead speed is 104. Yeah, that's so not it, efficient. It, well, yeah. <laughs> it, it, your clubhead speed is good. It's the same as mine. I'm around 104, but I'm getting 30 yards extra carry. Yeah. Through the numbers I'm delivering. Okay. So it's not that you're not physically strong enough, and it's not that you're not delivering enough speed. It's just that the speed has got power leaks to yep. it, basically. Uh, you're hitting 2.4 degrees down. Club's coming down. Yep. You're averaging seven left. Okay. So your club is moving down and left with good speed. Okay. We want to see the club. I want to get the club coming like your eye and controlling path more. Okay. And I don't mind two down as long as you control the path better, but I'd like to see up if we could get it. Okay. Um, 
your uh, face of the path is averaging 3.5 open. So 3.5 to the right yeah. of whatever path. So it's functional. Seven left, face three open to that seven. You are, as long as you strike it, you're going to hit target. Lovely. But you, you're going to need to up the club head speed to about 115, 120 to get the distance that you would want to get into. I want to be six inches taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will struggle to fix that. <laughs> um, if we look at the ball data then, so what happens to the ball data? Uh, you're averaging two nine spin. So you're actually more in the 3,000s because you've got a one nine on there from the high toe. Yeah. If you take that out, you go to 3,200 revs. Yeah. Quite high spin from what you're delivering. Um, you're presenting loft averaging 9.4. What loft's on that driver? 10 and a half. I would present about 16. Okay. So we need loads more loft. Yep. And we need to change path. Okay. Should we have a go? Sure. Um, I want you hitting it really high. Okay. So uh, I want you to be hitting it high and right. So swing to the right. High and right. Yes. Yeah, so if I take that club from you. Sure. I would hit it high and right. If you pop yourself just over there. Yeah. Sleeper, I would hit it high and right. I would go there and there. Okay. That's an exaggeration. Yeah. So if I wanted to hit it low and left, your movement, I would come more here and get the exiting down left and low there. Okay. So I want you to feel like you're going to go. So look, we're going to move for these swings. And we're going to say same target, actually. Same okay. target. But I want you to feel like you're hitting it over that highest peak almost. Yeah, absolutely. And don't worry if it goes there. OK. Because you're going to need a second fort to bring it back. OK. And again, you caught the ground there because you're trying to hit it high. Same thing. Definitely out to the right. So, path on that one was 0 0.5. To the right. 0 0.5 is straight. Straight, okay. 0 is with the machine. Okay. Your path, when you step up, without, without sentence, yeah. without hit it high and right, you're 7 left. Okay. So you moved your club path 7 degrees then. Okay. That's massive. <laughs> There's no it's okay good, about yeah. that. You should be saying, what? <laughs> He's a magician. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, the right yeah, I'm good. What's yeah. this boy on about? Uh, so we roll what's in the, the next thing I need <laughs> to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I don't think that's interesting. You've moved your path seven degrees there. Yeah, I've worked with people like over months trying to get them to move path drop and, and they move it by one or two. That's, that's huge, that's massive. Cool. Okay. The face is not aligning to where that path should be, which is why that's you're gonna the hit these to the right. Yeah. You might self-discover, so I want more hit. Okay. And if you don't, I'll give you another feeling. Okay. High and right, just as high as you can and getting it over that tallest peak on the right there. Good effort. So that's off the top of the, club, of the club, which yeah. is why that's going very high. Path zero. Okay. Perfect. And again, it's going to keep going to the right, Steve. We haven't given you the other four yet. Yeah. Okay. So that one's carry is, and you've not hit that great. That carry is 227. Game golf stats are including roll. Yeah. You're averaging 230 with your driver, wasn't it, we looked at? 230, yeah. That's 227 on the fly, no roll. Okay. And, you know, you, you've got the face 10 degrees open to a path. So if we get rid of that power leak, that's carrying 240. Got it. Carrying. Long ball. Long ball. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckle ball. <laughs> Good. Not as high as you want it, but that ball's yeah. drawing. So that one you're going, uh, you've only presented seven degrees aloft. Yeah. That's not well, going over the mountain. I'm definitely thinking more right than yeah. up right well, now. Well, you are, because that again. path is only one left now. Okay. It's not right, it's one left, but you were seven left. So it's, your path is massively Much more, more right than where you started. Yeah. I love that oh, one. That's yeah. the one I want nice. to fix. Keep hitting that one. Okay. That's, I want more of that. Path 0.9 in to out. What's the loft? Loft 12 degrees, okay. so more. Adding three. Um, but we have it, as soon as we give him the old lobby flip. Yeah, yeah. I bring it with me, mate, in my suitcase, <laughs> wherever I travel, just put it, it out. It is worldwide. 
<laughs> International lucky flick. Why don't you try pointing your shoulders more to the right, Steve? Watch me. Yeah, just, just. Okay. You want to get it going high right? Give yourself every chance. Perfect. So what happens if we use those sentences high right? Is your path goes from seven across, yeah. out to in, to zero. Cool. Your angle of attack was two down. It's now only one down. Those two boxes have gone like massively forwards. Tick tick. Great. Awesome. But. Your face is now completely wrong. It's seven degrees open to zero. Yeah. Where before it was three degrees open to seven left, which is kind of makes sense. That's going to find time. Three and a half degrees left. Yeah. yeah. Where now your face is just wild. It's off. It's not going to work. Yeah. So we need another thought. So you're going to have two sentences. Okay. High right, right. And then I want you to try and get the face flicking the ball back to the left. Okay. Lot to loft. High bomby draws this way. Okay. I'll give it a Similar shot. Similar to the iron. Yeah. Okay. So loads more flick than that. That's handle first. Okay. Oh, that's close. Get that head ahead of that handle a bit more, Steve. All right. Good, great height, starting in the right place, but the face is open, open to the still. path. Yeah. Okay. Right, I want you to do one more. Okay. And I just want you to just, if I do one that, don't try it good shots. Because what I'm going to do in a second is we're going to have a go with Brandon and I want you to go over and hit some trying to do this. Okay. And then we'll come back to you. Um, I want you to aim where you're aiming, which is kind of down the right of the range of fraction, isn't it? Yeah. Like where those guys are would be centre. You're aiming at that flag on the right. And I want you to feel like you're going to hit it high and into those houses on the left. Don't try and hit target. Try and get it going up and left. Oh, I'm missing it. Got the left, didn't get the height because I caught it out of the bottom. Yeah. So I aimed where I wanted the ball to go, which is slightly down the right, but I tried to hit high left. Okay. This way. So I want you to master a bad shot. <laughs> All right. You... Trouble with people who practice golf, they try to practice good shots. When I get behind a tree, I need to hit a bad shot here and I need to hit a low cut. And I can do that, so I can control delivery. If you find high bombing draws, over draws, you, you know low cut to the right, yeah. you've got both shots, you can end up in the middle so much easier if you can do both of them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Don't hit good ones, just get them slinging high left. Okay. That's the gut. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.